This is one Brit who doesn't just sit around drinking tea. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're taking a look at the career of Jason Statham. Jason Michael Statham was born on September 12, 1972, in the small town of Chesterfield, England, before growing up in London. His mother was a dancer, and his father once made a living as a lounge singer. But Statham became a street-savvy black market salesman with more interest in sports and martial arts. His attraction to these pursuits developed when his brother used him as a punching bag in his youth and after he was wowed by a high board diver while on holiday in Miami. He eventually devoted himself to gymnastics, diving, and various fighting styles that included Wing Chun Kung Fu, karate, and kickboxing. He was a member of Britain's national diving squad for over a decade and finished 12th in 1992's World Championships. Despite a bright future as a professional athlete, Statham took a lucrative job as a model for the French Connection clothing brand after being approached by a talent agent. Soon after, he was introduced to British director Guy Ritchie. After learning a bit about Statham's past, Ritchie asked him to play a street-tough con man in 1998's Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. The film was an instant hit. It catapulted Statham into the acting scene and garnered him mainstream recognition. In 2000, he re-teamed with Ritchie in the role of Turkish in the all-star blockbuster, Snatch. What is a gun doing in your trousers? For protection. Protection from what? The Germans. This marked his transition to American films, which resulted in his parts in 2001's John Carpenter horror film, Ghosts of Mars, and the action film, The One, opposite Jet Li. Statham followed these high-profile projects by finally taking on a starring role. He impressed both critics and audiences as Frank Martin in 2002's The Transporter. Statham performed many of his own stunts and gained even further credibility as an action star with his martial arts abilities. The film was so successful, Statham reprised the role twice more during the decade. At the same time, he took on the supporting role of Handsome Rob in 2003's The Italian Job and played the villain in 2004's thriller Cellular. Despite the fact that Statham's collaborations with Guy Ritchie had helped make him a star, the pair's third effort was a major dud. Fortunately, 2005's Revolver did not derail his blossoming career as a Hollywood juggernaut, and he soon found himself in the role of Chev Chelios in 2006's Crank. In this high-intensity film, he played a mob hitman who is poisoned and must perform adrenaline-increasing acts in order to stay alive long enough to find a cure and get revenge. No need to push. Look at something that starts with uh, E. England? Very funny, no. Statham then reprised his outrageous role in Crank High Voltage and went on to star in the British crime thriller The Bank Job and the action-packed remake of a 1975 film, Death Race. By this time in his career, Statham was already well-known as a modern action star, and as such, he was featured alongside Sylvester Stallone and other 80s icons in The Expendables. In 2011, Statham remade another cinematic classic from the 70s. He took on the role formerly played by Charles Bronson in The Mechanic. He then lent his voice to the animated family comedy Nomeo and Juliet, played a detective sergeant in Blitz, portrayed an SAS agent in Killer Elite opposite Clive Owen and Robert De Niro, and rescued an abducted girl in the action film Safe. He also sided with and against more legendary movie icons in The Expendables 2. Jason Statham has grossed more than a billion dollars at the box office, has spawned multiple hits and several popular series. He has proven he is a talented action star who shows no signs of fading from the silver screen. And he continues to be recognized for his love of fast cars and beautiful women, which is a trait he shares with many of his on-screen characters. 